Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again, unless it's your first time here, in which case, just hello. Uh, if it is your first time, click that subscribe button down there, that always helps. Um, it's been a while, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, life has just been incredibly busy. If you have been following me on all the other social medias, um, check out the links in the descriptions, you'll know I've not been having a very good time of it lately. It's been a bit of a disaster if I'm honest, I've been losing fish left, right and centre it seems. Well I don't want to make light of it, I don't want to dwell on it either. But, yeah, it's not been good. We had the goldfish lost. We had the rainbow fish lost. We had my puffer lost, the Fahaka puffer, which is the most gutting of them all. Uh, completely unexplained. Fed them some snails, went away, came back an hour later, lying dead. So, not good. Um, but, like I say, I don't want to dwell on it. I want to move on, I just wanted to make a quick video and when you're pressed for time and pressed for ideas you turn to the internet. We'll take a quick look at some shitty aquariums on Reddit because what makes you feel better than looking at someone else that's got it worse than you. Okay this is a, an Amazon review for one of those little tiny desktop aquarium things that you get. It's not cruelty, it actually has running water for oxygen. I love my better home clock organizer. I use it on my dresser right beside my bed. I love to hear the water running. It's peaceful and it's not cruelty. It's called a better tank. If you guys actually cared enough to read up on your better, you would realize that this is what they want. They are born and raised in a small dirty pouch of water so they feel safe in a small area of water. Hmm, so who is being cruel to their better? You are, you idiot. So all the hallmarks of a moron, spelling there incorrectly, <laughs> taking things that have little elements of truth and basing your entire argument on them and just being generally wrong. What even is a pouch of water? Yeah, they're not born in small dirty pouches of water, they could be. Um, they don't feel safe in a small area of water. <laughs> Again, this is the thing between thriving and surviving. Um, yes, they can survive in horrible fish tanks and dirty little puddles of water, maybe that's what we're going for. That doesn't mean that's the optimum conditions for them and therefore design a whole product range around it. So, Amber's a moron, the people who make those fish tanks are a moron, and anyone that's found that review helpful is a moron. Wow, animal abuse is so quirky and cute. All right, so it's a vodka bottle with some pink puke gravel in the bottom and a very unhappy better fish in it. Again, hopefully that was done just for a photo opportunity rather than anything long term, but stupid even then. I wonder why they died. Not sure how big the fish tank in, but the fish died. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> that looks like, yeah. Not good. Just my LPS, so what's that, local pit shop or something like that. Yeah, some green water going on there, uh, which, well, some people will do green water on purpose because lots of things like to eat green water or feed it green water. This is obviously a shop that's just not keeping up with their maintenance. Uh, not great. That's one of the signs you would know to avoid that shop. A friend posted this in their Snapchat story I asked, and there are fish in there. I am sad. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those, it doesn't make sense. Look how green that water is, how low that water level is. It's got to be more to it than that. Why would you even shit, shit? It should be obvious that that's not how you're meant to be doing this. So why would you put it on Snapchat? You're just opening yourself up for ridicule. They even disabled the comments. All oh, right. Yeah, tiny fish tank, lots of fish. <laughs> Aquariums used by the Soviets to test if fish can survive space about the size of my hand. It took me a minute there, I was going, they're weird fish, but that's obviously just a recreation. Yeah, that's interesting, but... Well, the first comment there, I mean, if they were used by the Soviets to test if fish could survive in space, did you expect them to be living in the life of luxury? Kind of get that point. Yeah, animal cruelty, animal testing, all that kind of stuff. It has questionable morals, but I found this at the mall. What is that? Looks like a toy. Oh, there's a fish here. All ah, right, some kind of cichlid in there, and a tiny little tank. Again, you see your classic standard 
too small a tank. Testing the water temperature. I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, surprise, surprise. Okay. Extremely crowded and overfed beta sorority. The ones who weren't fighting didn't move at all. Yeah, it's not great, but again, it looks like it's a shop trying to sell them, so this isn't someone's home personal setup, I hope. Um, so hopefully they're just there temporarily before they get sold on someone who can look after them better. Those fish are going to either freeze, fry, or someone's going to shatter that glass. Okay. I've seen this before, or something similar to it, when the, I think it was ATM, they made a fish tank out of a telephone box. There's clearly a pipe down at the bottom, which is obviously going off somewhere else to the filtration, which I imagine will have its heaters and cookers. Heaters and cookers? It's heaters or coolers if needed. And we don't know that that's in a public place or anything like that. Yeah, heaters and chillers could make this feasible. There's nothing inherently shitty about it. Although it's not my aesthetic. I would agree with that first comment. It's obviously a huge volume of water. Um, well, well, there is a lot of goldfish in there, but like fancy goldfish mostly. Um, it's, yeah, might not be your taste, but it's not that shitty. Conceptually, it's interesting. I just wish it was a lot bigger. My fun fish tank self-cleaning beta fish tank small fish tank. What? I don't get it. What's going on? Is she going to drink that water? Self-cleaning beta fish tanks. Right. So you pour in water and then it overflows from the bottom, I guess, where they think all the muck will be. Alright, that's your kind of basic sump principle. Yeah, maybe it's just because it's too small, what are they going on about? And someone else made the same thought as me. Is she going to drink that? Yeah, any tank with a sump has an overflow. If you're ambitious enough, drill a hole. I guess we know how to make a sump. I don't think that's inherently shitty, other than its size, I guess, maybe. Molten glass bowl for fish found on Facebook. Alright, um, confession time. I've actually seen one of these and that was my first thought as well although I technically I thought about putting shrimp in it but to get any to get one that's got any kind of decent water volume or even that it, you can't tell how big it is but that looks tiny if that's a better fish that's quite a small volume in there but they're hugely expensive they're cool as anything and they look great um, but to get a, a big enough one that's got some kind of decent water volume that you could maybe get some kind of filter into or heater or anything that you wanted to like that they're massively expensive hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds but they do look great so this might be my little guilty pleasure as I think that looks quite good but obviously it's terrible for the fish what are they saying yeah some of the comments I mean if you get a tiny air stone and leave it in a heated room with live plants you could keep shrimps or moss balls that's that's what I was going to do um, with shrimp because it look they look great So that's a, I would say that's an unshitty aquarium. Um, my cousin's tank. Luckily, after this video was posted, I could do maintenance. Those are two dead fish in the filter. Oh uh, yeah. Well, if you're going to have a shitty aquarium, you're going to get some dead fish. Why are people obsessed with putting their betters in terrible homes? Yeah, I kind of get. That seems to be a running theme in this subreddit. Absolutely appalling. The Twitter user has no remorse either for this abuse because it's just the fish. Yeah. It's not great. I'm hoping it's just done so as they can take a picture. I mean, I've seen this from... I can't remember what the company was before where they had done it for a, a promo for an advert and they got tons of abuse for it so they never done it again. But obviously people think it looks cool. But people are stupid. Dirty goldfish tank. It doesn't look that dirty. I mean, again, probably too many fish, it's probably too overstocked. And it's only got a little internal filter from what I can see. The tank itself and the stand, that looks pretty cool. I like the decorations and everything. Um, but yeah, it's not much light to see what's going on in there, but the water doesn't look that bad. 
There you go. I'm like, I can read the future without seeing the comments. What dirt? Overstock, yes, but term dirty here, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> the wood stand and top decor is pretty. I, I, I swear I wasn't looking at these in advance. 10 gallons, 7 goldfish, $160. <laughs> Uh, I, I should do a video on this one day. The amount of times you see them on Facebook where people have got little fish tanks, like yay big, they go in fish tank with fish and ornaments and it's like clown puke gravel, four goldfish in a tank this size and they want a hundred quid for it. And you're like, where are these people getting these prices from? It's just crazy. Yeah, too many fish, too much money. I just want to know what the bleep they were thinking. Yes, too small, too big fish. My brother mounted these small plant balls to the wall and is putting minnows in them. Yeah, I've seen these before um, and other various variations on this theme. They're not great, they're not good for fish, they're not meant for fish. I think putting fish in them for any length of time is just asking for disaster. Just came across this terrible thing. I remember seeing a film that had something like this in it. Has it got anything in the comments? Yes, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Now, I am old and I do remember this was a thing once in the 60s or 70s, but yeah, that's just from a film. Hopefully no animals were hurt in the making of this picture. Wonderful. I've seen these before. I don't know if it was on Wish or something like that. Yeah, bad idea. It's your classic shitty aquarium post here. Tiny tank, big goldfish stuck in them. No filtration or anything like that. But yeah, it's not good. Yeah, I mean, that would be good as like a terrarium or something like that, maybe. I do like all these things, but why, why does everyone feel the need to stick fish in them? I don't get it. A fish pond tutorial so we can all have shitty aquariums. Oh, I've seen this one before. This is where you, you make some buttocks, it seems, <laughs> and then plant one side and stick fish in the other. Great. <sighs> Not a fan. What is this? They can't even move. That can't be. They wouldn't live more than a day in the fact what they were being kept in. How to build Lotus Flower Aquarium with magnetic balls. That's not good. Not good. Goldfish and Corridoras on my country's Craigslist. Asked if I could just get the fish. That's another one of these. Why Why do people let not fill up their aquariums? What are you doing, people who do not fill up your aquariums? And why do you use that picture for the one where you're trying to sell something? It's just the thickest pig shit, some people. Woke up to this, alive and wriggling to get free without a tail. Can't see what's happening. Oh, has it been eaten by a crayfish or something? Yeah, not good. Not good. A solution to the infamous triple homicide tank featuring predator looming over trapped prey. Yeah, that, it's another one of these crappy little beta tanks. They look great and all, but you shouldn't be keeping things in them. And that's the thing, there are people who, not that I'm an expert in fish keeping, the people who see these products think they look cool, because they do, kind of, I get that. And then do what they think they're meant to be doing. So they'll go and they'll buy three better fish for this and not know any better. So it's, it's not the people's fault necessarily. I think it's the manufacturers shouldn't just shouldn't be doing it. My mom got into fish around the same time I did. This is her tank and she's never done a water change, never cleaned the filter or glass and kills all her snails. Surprised the beta hasn't died yet. Well, I've seen worse to be honest. And you can, there are live plants in there at least, so they will be doing some form of filtration. And there is a filter in there. And it doesn't look like they're topping up. So, yeah, not an optimal fish tank, but not the worst I've seen by a long shot. Where the filter at? <laughs> One piece mini cute aquarium for pet fish, office desk, home home decoration. Yeah, so there's lots on this similar theme of building things that look cool and trying to stuff a fish in them for some reason. There's another one of these wall hanger ones. And this is the type of thing that 
as an Iron Man. Um, because you see that, you think, oh, that would look cool if you don't know anything about fish. You think, yeah, that'd be great. I'll, I'll buy that and I'll do that because that's what it says on the box to do. But we all know better. My dad doesn't clean his tank as much as he should, if at all. This poor guy has been toughing it out for months. What poor guy? I can't see anything in there. It does look like a crusty across the old tank. I'm assuming that's a fish there maybe. Or here, I don't know. When he goes to work do a sneaky 50% or more water change. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of this, or oh, my brother does this, or my mum or my dad does that. You're like, yeah, of course it's your brother or your mum or your dad. Mmm, 30 gallon goldfish aquarium, yum yum. That's got all your classic signs there. You've got the bright pink gravel. You've got not filled up to the top. Water you can't really see through. That's your classic shitty aquarium. When you know so little about bitters, you can't even tell that it's a male. Okay, so. Someone introducing the new pet fish, he or she. Yeah, it's obviously a male, but not everyone is able to sex bitters. They don't know what the difference is. I kind of let that go. It does kind of look quite nice and stuff, but yeah, it's a small tank, it's not enough space, there's no filters or anything. Not great, but not the worst. Okay, another of these melted glass type ones with a cat. I'm all surprised that people just film this rather than saying to the cat, eat it. One day it's going to get that fish and then what are you going to do? Oh, there, look at that. Some people shouldn't have pets. That fish has like almost no space. True, but it doesn't it look good? Is that even a fish? What fish? I don't see a fish. Is that meant to be a fish? I don't know. But this kind of thing. Love it. Just buy it. Put in some plants. Even some floating plants, something like that. Maybe some sweet potato. Let it root out and flower over the top. That would look cool. Just don't need to put a fish in it. Man, I love my flower horn in a five gallon tank. Yeah, that's that's bad on a few different levels. So, but either it's either gonna die because it's not got enough space because it gets eaten by a cat or in a horrific house fire because it's right next to an electrical outlet. That poor goldfish. Uh, at least there's an attempt to get an air stone or a filter in there, but yeah, that's... That's the right intentions, but the very bad execution. Great deal at my local pet store. What am I looking at? Oh yeah, a tank of death. I mean, that does happen. It happens, yeah. It's kind of the price of doing business sometimes. It's not great that the, if that is a local pet store that they've not noticed that. But we don't know the circumstances here. That could have been somebody dropped something in the water and killed all the fish really quickly. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad husbandry type thing. Who knows? It's not a good thing though. What's a dead fish? R.I.P. Watch the orange fish. It's going to be like a fishy version of a snuff film. Whoa! What happened there? Let's just make a bid for freedom. Hmm. Yep, they can jump. That happens. That's why I quite often have guppies in tanks that I didn't put guppies in because they jump from one tank into the other. I don't know what they're doing in this little bowl, but God, this makes me want to cry. So again, what is it with people letting their cats just mess about with fish? Although I think that one might be just a tiny bit staged. I count 13 Comet Goldfish in a 40 gallon tank, one for $300 of course. I know, that, it's amazing how often this happens. I might just buy a few like cheap fish tanks and then try and sell them for exorbitant prices. There's always the people out there buying them for this because they see them. If they're that popular, there must be a market for it. Okay, now that's taking the small aquarium to a new level. 
Yeah, it's either obviously done just to take the picture and prove how hilarious this person is. Not good. A parrot cichlid than an Oscar in a five gallon tank. $20. At least the price is reasonable, if not the fish care. Fish and gravel not included. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully that's because they're upgrading to a bigger tank, so that's a good thing. We can but hope. Eesh. High school science teacher's fish tank. Looks like there's one cichlid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know how you tell. Oh, there you go. Is that a convict down there? Yeah, that is... That's a grubby fish tank. <laughs> a bowl that lets you do a 95% water change, then leaves the fish in less than an inch of water while you refill it. I don't get it. How do you refill it? Surely you have to turn it back on its normal way. Or well, the water wouldn't stay in. There's your classic overstocked aquarium with too many fish in it. Um, I've seen this one many times before. Um, yeah, that's obviously they're called tank busters and they will literally bust that tank because they're all going to get massive, massive. Alright, I think that's a good place to stop there. There's lots more. Go and check out r slash shitty aquariums uh, and you can check them out for yourselves. As always, if you've enjoyed any of this, click that link down below, subscribe and we'll catch up next time. And thank you for joining me. Um, there's all the links down below to all my various other social medias. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 all that jazz. And hopefully I'll get more updates out soon when life calms down a little bit. Bye.